guys it's jessie welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video welcome back to my bookshelves i'm home for christmas now which is so exciting as you can see i've got my lovely lovely bookshelves here i'm so happy to be back i love just having all my books around me etc etc it's so much fun so welcome to day six i believe of bookmas today we have a book haul which is so fun um we're also going to be doing a book unboxing so i have these and another package as well to unbox um so firstly i've got a bunch of books that i have bought that aren't in the parcels these are ones that i have just picked up over the last two months I would say since the end of October which I think was my last book haul. Um, I've got 12 books here um, not in the parcels that I have acquired recently and then maybe like six or so in the parcel as well so yeah this is my first ever actual unboxing as well um, which is super fun so yeah without further ado let's just get straight into it so I have bought some books that I have read since I'm not going to be including those some of these you may have seen in TBRs or videos but um, let's just get started so firstly I have This is How You Lose a Time Warp by Amanda El Motar and Max Gladstone. My boyfriend very kindly bought this for me when we went book shopping. I dragged him into Waterstones as I always do and he very kindly uh, bought this one for me. This one I am part way through. I am quite near the end to be honest. I uh, was reading this in my last vlog that went up and I didn't quite finish it in that but I have plans to finish it probably next week or so. It's just I've got a lot of books to read at the moment so I don't have time to just sit down and finish this one but I will make time for it. I think probably in a 24 hour readathon that I'm thinking of doing soon. So yeah. I'm really excited about this one. It's like a sci-fi um, little short book. So i um, really excited to finish that one off. Then we have Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I believe I picked this up with my Waterstones credit from my points account, which was super fun because that means it's basically free. This is the uh, trilogy that preludes Once Upon a Broken Heart, I believe. You don't have to read this, but I believe it spoils it. So I am very much someone, if you tell me you don't have to, but like it might add to it ever so slightly, I will do it. Like I will read all the books beforehand before getting into the series. But I am excited about this one. This is a fantasy romance, I believe, about like, a traveling game type thing um it's magic and a bit weird um and i'm really actually very much excited to read this i have direct plans to read this in january so i'll be super excited to pick it up then and yeah i think i might like it i think i might really really enjoy this um and yeah i really like the cover of this i think it's absolutely stunning then we have let's go for three books that were gifted to me by my parents basically being that they read it and then gave it to me because they kind of just will donate books that they haven't read they won't keep them on bookshelves or anything so i'll run through these quickly uh first we've got the satsuma complex by bob mortimer i believe this is kind of like a comedy slash mystery kind of similar to the thursday murder club so i'm really excited about this one then we've got the prophet and the idiot by jonas jonason i believe and he is the author of the hundred year old man who climbed out the window and disappeared which i've heard good things about so i believe this is also translated from swedish which i really enjoyed from bear town and frederick backman's writing so i'm interested to see whether i just like swedish writing in general or whether it is um, frederick backman specifically but yeah i'm excited to pick that one up too and then also we have the anomaly which i believe is about a um, plane that duplicates um, and one lands in March and then the other lands in June uh, so it's a bit of a kind of speculative I guess mystery this just sounds really interesting as well then we have one that I picked up which was a pre-order and that was the writing retreat by Julia Bartz I pre-ordered the paperback of this because I really really like the sound of it this is going to be part of a video series I believe next year which will be super fun this hasn't got the best reviews but I think I might be kind of in the minority who loves it I've heard this goes a bit crazy at the end goes a bit weird and I love that in a book so yeah I'm really really excited to pick this one up I believe they go on a month-long writing retreat to like an isolated little cabin and it just gets weird it gets crazy so yeah I'm super excited to pick that up obviously then we have a big boy we have A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas this is the second book in the Akatar series I read the first one in October and I'm hoping to read this next week which is super exciting I really want to make my way through the series this is a long one it's got what like over 600 pages so a very very long book Book, but I've heard that this one is a lot of people's favorites so I can't wait to pick it up and yeah I'm really excited to kind of get into a big book I feel like I haven't really read any chunky books in a while so I'm really excited to kind of just delve into it again I've not read too much fantasy this is pretty much all the fantasy that I've read along here um so I really haven't read too much and I would like to get into it more and I think this is a great place to start then I bought two books and my boyfriend bought one in the works kind of three four six pound deal so the two I got firstly I got Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams they didn't have When in Rome and I did kind of think this was the first one but I think When in Rome is first in the interconnected standalones not that it matters too much if I don't see When in Rome in the works or anything like that I probably will just read this one first uh, but this is just a cute little romance I did enjoy the cheat sheet so I'm excited to 
to pick this one up and then also I picked up a Christmas romance I had to this is all I want for Christmas by Maggie Knox I believe they are competitors on a singing show and they are like shipped together but they like hate each other type of thing um, so I think this will be fun again it's not too long this one's like just over 300 pages so I'm really excited to read this kind of towards Christmas I think it'll be such a fun cute little holiday read then we have probably one of my most anticipated releases of the year and that is Checkmate by Ali Hazelwood um, I am so excited for Ali Hazelwood's YA debut I personally love Ali Hazelwood my least favorite thing about her books is the sex scenes I find them a little bit too cringy for me um, and so I'm hoping this will just be perfect for me because I presume it won't be having sex scenes if it's YA. So yeah, I don't see why I wouldn't enjoy this one um, potentially even more than her other books. I love her writing. I find it so addictive. So yeah, I'm really, really excited for this one and have kind of tentatively high expectations. This is also like 3.30 pages. So like just a classic, not too long romance, which is fab. And then we have another one that I'm also really excited for. This one's got slightly poorer reviews, but I think I might love it. I think it's just gonna be so funny and like camp and fun and cute. And that is my roommate is a vampire i know we've kind of passed the october period which is potentially the best time for this type of book but i still think i can really enjoy it it's pretty much what it says on the tin the roommate is a vampire and i believe the roommate frederick j fitzwilliam is like from the like 1900s so he kind of like doesn't understand um like modern day culture and stuff so the uh, protagonist cassie kind of has to teach him that as well which i think is gonna be so cute so yeah this is a really cute one i think i'm gonna really enjoy and then finally we have one from my evernight subscription which is a luma crates horror subscription they do four books a year and this was the october pick and it was last to leave the room by caitlin starling which i'm super excited about it has super fun sprayed edges here um some end papers um that are really quite creepy you can also see them on this end and then i believe they have there's a design underneath is there yeah so there's like a little door underneath here so this one's really cool i believe it's like a doppelganger type situation so yeah i'm super excited to um pick this one up and this edition and the sprayed edges are just stunning so yeah really excited about that one so now let's go into my Waterstones orders. This was from Black Friday. They did um, triple stamps, which basically means normally it's every £100 you spend, you get £10. And this kind of meant it was every £30 you spend, you get £10. Or every or every £100 you spend, you get £30 in credit, if that makes any sense. So um, this is part of my order. I also did a bunch of pre-orders and those will obviously be coming throughout the year. So um, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. One of these is a book for my mum, which is gonna be a gift. So I'll mention that when we get to it. What is in here? Oh, okay, these are both very fun. Oh, I forgot, I forgot I bought one of these anyway um this is two very fun books i literally completely forgot that i bought one of these that is so embarrassing um i literally didn't even make the order that long ago so firstly the one i forgot about we have emily wilde's encyclopedia of fairies i like mentally still had this on like my wish list type of thing i forgot that i picked this up so i am super deeper excited about this one i think it's going to be such a cute little cozy fantasy this is basically about emily wilde who is pretty much making an encyclopedia on fairies she has to go into this little village and she is working with her rival Wendell Bumblebee which I think is going to be just so cute I'm so excited about it and the cover is stunning I think she's absolutely gorgeous like I love her so yeah this one I'm super duper excited for I'm so excited to have this I genuinely completely forgot about this which is a little bit embarrassing and a little bit of a problem but yeah oh my god this is so fun and then I also picked up Home Before Dark by Riley Sager so I've heard really good things about this one specifically I have read How to Cross the lake and the only one left and i really enjoyed both of them they were both above a four star for me um so yeah i'm really excited i believe this is like a haunted house type story um but i've heard this is one of his best and most loved i believe so yeah super excited to pick this one up i love a thriller you guys know um and yeah oh this one's super floppy which is great um yeah really really excited for that one then we have package number two i know what this is in here because it was a pre-order at the time of ordering it but now obviously it's come out so i believe this is jessa hastings new book Oh my god, why was that so difficult? Okay, yes, it's she's stunning. I know she's stunning. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. This is Never by Jessa Hastings. Just look at that cover. On the back it says, there is a boy of legend in the tales passed down in my family. He glides on the coattails of the sun, rides the wind and freedom runs through his veins. His heart, they say, is wild. So yeah, this is Never by Jessa Hastings, as I have just said. Oh my goodness, look at these end papers. 
these are stunning so this is neverland oh it's gorgeous so i've had some mixed reviews on this to be honest i'm still really excited for it i was going to try and read this this month but i think i might just postpone it to january and pick it up then um just because i'm not dying for it but i do really really want to read this soon i don't know how long it is it's oh it's over 300 pages i thought it'd be a bit shorter but yeah this oh my god in the hardback as well it's just gorgeous do we have anything on here no it's just the blank um naked hardback but oh my goodness like this book also is just stunning oh my goodness i'm so 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 excited about it. maybe i will have to read it this month i mean i can't lie like having it in my hands it looks gorgeous like so 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 pretty so yeah i'm super duper excited for that wow she is gorgeous i love her okay that one i am so excited about and finally the big parcel here let's see if i can unwrap this one better these waterstones ones are so much harder than the amazon ones oh my goodness okay so firstly I, why is that book massive what book did i order that's absolutely huge okay anyway next uh we have one that was for my mum and this is welcome to the hunan dong bookshop this is by huang bo ren translated by shannon tan and this i thought was so cute uh when we were shopping she did kind of pick it up and say it looked absolutely adorable and yeah oh my goodness look it's so cute wait in some of the chapters it has like a little picture of a person on a dog oh my god this is meant to just be like so wholesome about like bookshops and like a cute little cozy book so it says the runaway korean sensation and like just this edition as well it's gorgeous so this is what i'm getting her for christmas so i mean if you are my mum sorry for spoiling that but i don't think she watches my videos uh, this is what i picked up and i think it's so pretty and this edition as well love it so yes what's this big oh i think i bought the next avatar book actually yes i did okay oh i don't want to read the blurb because i obviously have not read akamoth but this is akawar another one of the kind of most popular books in the akatar series this is the one i believe i have to get into after a court of mist and fury this has nearly 700 pages i believe so it's super deep long i'm like avoiding the blurb like the plague so i don't want any spoilers but yeah she's a long one um and i'm super excited to get into her as well um but yeah uh, this is just the next book in the Akatar series. I thought um, I would be buying it anyway because, I mean, I've started the series. I think I'm going to enjoy it. So I thought it would make sense for me to pick that one up um, whilst they had a sale on. Then we have this one. Oh, I'm super excited about this. We have The Christmas Appeal by Janice Hallett. This is her um, new release for Christmas, obviously. And, oh my God, look, cute little Christmassy end papers. This, I read The Appeal by her in mm, my first boyfriend picks my tbr video and i gave it a four and then i read the mysterious case of the alberton angels earlier this year and i gave that a 4.25 so i really enjoy her books they are mixed media murder mysteries these ones are mainly emails the appeal uh, i don't know if you can see it's got like email format so we've had a murder again in the same town it's a little bit of a small one so i definitely think i'll swap this into my 24 hour readathon um and yeah i'm super excited for it just a cute little christmasy mystery and yeah i really wanted to pick this one up and i'm super excited about it i think i'll have a really good time with it just a cute little small one and keeping it festive as well and then finally i also forgot about this one i'm really excited about this i um had this one on my goodreads want to read because i was trying to get up to 100 pounds and i was on about like 92 or something so i'd like the amount for one more book and i was just scrolling through my want to reads thinking like what is on here that i've forgotten about and i came across this one which is someone in time which i'm really really interested in this is a collection of short stories about time crossed romance so kind of like time travel romance type of thing we've got authors in here such as shauna mcguire jeffrey ford alexi e. harrow rowan coleman theodora goss zen cho elizabeth hand and lots more and yeah i'm super excited about this i think it's going to be such a cute collection of short stories i love romance you guys know and i love time travel as a concept especially in romance i love a about time one of my favorite movies i really enjoyed um seven year slip so super duper excited about this one i can't believe i forgot this one and only while since like a video of fairies that is a little bit crazy but yeah i am so excited to pick this one up and that is the last one in our haul so how many books do we have here 19 books here so a very big haul can i pick them up oh i don't think this is gonna go well let me put my chin on it okay here we have all the books yeah a lot of books okay but yeah I'm so excited for these. This is my penultimate haul of the year. I'm going to have one more book haul after Christmas with all my Christmas books and my Waterstones end of year sale books that I'm predicting I'll probably buy. I am then going to go on a book buying ban for the first three months of next year. We'll see. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really, really wanting to make a dent through my physical TBR. I'm only going to be buying 
books in the series that I'm going to like directly read so I'm not going to buy like all of the series but if I've just finished a book and I have plans to read the next one I will buy them and also any books like specifically for a video that I can't use anything else for pretty much so yeah I really hope you guys did enjoy this a book haul we have so many good books in here let me know if you want to see any of these specifically vlogs I'm so excited for all of them and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a like down below hit subscribe and turn the bell to join our little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time I post a new video and if you want to watch all my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well so they're linked up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye oh god they're gonna fall